Welcome to the session on adding and subtracting negative fractions. We're going to be reviewing adding fractions with different denominators and adding and subtracting fractions with different denominators and then incorporating the negative fractions with that. So first let's start off with this problem of four-fifths plus three two-thirds. So if you, as you recall we need to find the least common multiple. So we can list the multiples of 5, would be 5, 10, 15, and then we would list the multiples of 3, 3, 6, 9, 12, and 15. And then here's where we would discover that the least common multiple that these two numbers share is 15. So our common denominator will be 15. So I'm going to erase this and we're going to use 15 as the denominator. So if we have 4 fifths, we need to find an equivalent fraction and we need to find what number multiplied by 5 will have a denominator of 15. Well, 5 times 3 is 15. Whatever we do to the denominator, we do the to the numerator and 4 times 3 is 12. Let's take a look at 2 thirds. If we take 2 thirds and we multiply by some number and we're trying to make an equivalent fraction, 3 times some number equals 15. Well, 3 times 5 is 15. Whatever we do to the denominator, we do to the numerator in order to make an equivalent fraction. And 2 times 5 is 10. So now we have a problem that is now rewritten as 12 fifteenths plus 10 fifteenths. And the 4 fifths represents 12 fifteenths. The 2 thirds represents 10 fifteenths. When we add them together, if you recall, the denominator stays the same. And our numerator would then be 22 fifteenths. Well, we need to leave this, uh, if we, we don't leave this into an improper fraction, we need to turn it into a mixed number. So what we would do is we would divide 15 into 22, and it goes one time. And our remainder would be 7, and that would be a one whole and 7 fifteenths. Let's see the impact of of throwing in a negative fraction using this same type of fraction setup. So we're going to erase this work here and erase this work here. And let's say that instead of 4 fifths plus 2 thirds, it's going to be negative 4 fifths plus 2 thirds. How is that going to change our problem? Well, the methodology is the same of finding the common denominator. All we need to do differently is to insert the negative sign for that fraction. So now this is going to be negative 12 fifteenths plus this not has not changed. This is still a positive number and so this will be 10 fifteenths. Now here is where the difference is in integer rules. We apply the rules for integers. The denominator stays the same. So now we are looking at negative 12 plus a positive 10. And that will be a negative 2 fifteenths. Now let's see how this negative sign would impact if we had 4 fifths, if it was positive, but what if we made the two-thirds negative? How would that change our problem? Well, we would still have 12 fifteenths, and that's a positive, but we would be adding negative two-thirds, and the negative sign would be with the 10 fifteenths. And now we are adding a positive 12 with a negative 10, and that will be a positive 2 fifteenths. Now one last look here, if I can sneak it in on the bottom, is what if we made all both fractions negative? 
if we made negative 4 fifths and we're adding a negative 2 thirds. So we will still be working with 12 fifteenths and we're still working with 10 fifteenths. These are now both negative numbers that we are adding. The denominator stays the same. A negative 12 plus a negative 10 will be a negative 22 fifteenths. And that will be simplified to negative 1 and 7 fifteenths. So this is how negatives impact fractions when we're adding. Let's take a look at fractions when we are subtracting. So we'll go to a new page and I have a problem here. We'll just take a look at 3 fourths and we're going to subtract 1 third. We find the least common multiple which will be Twelve. Now, since we found the least common multiple of 12, what we'll do is we will now replace that 3 fourths times some number well, and a denominator of 12. So 4 times some number equals 12. Well, that will be 3. 3 is our numerator. 3 times 3 is 9. And one third, if we multiply that out, we multiply some number to get to a denominator of 12. Well, that will be 4. 1 times 4 is 4. And so we would rewrite this problem to be 9 twelfths minus 4 twelfths would equal 5 twelfths. Let's see how adding negatives to the fractions will impact subtracting fractions. So I'm going to erase the work here. And let's say, for example, we have a negative 3 fourths minus 1 third. Our denominator will still be 12. Our numerator will still be 9. However, our numerator will be a negative 9. We are subtracting 1 third. The value of 1 third has not changed. It's still for the equivalent of 4 twelfths. Now, here we apply our integer rules. The denominator stays the same. We apply the integer rules of when subtracting integers. So when we subtract integers, we actually add the opposite and we now add negative 9 plus a negative 4 and that is negative 13 and that can be simplified to negative 1 over 1 twelfth. Let's see how if we take 3 fourths and we subtract a negative 1 third how will that impact the problem? Well, we'll still have 9 twelfths. It will be positive. We're going to be subtracting a negative 4 twelfths. Our denominator stays the same. And now, according to our integer rules, this will become 13 twelfths, a positive 13, and our answer would be a positive, excuse me, a positive 1 and 1 twelfth. So let's take a look. We've This was our original. Here we inserted a, a negative sign with this fraction. In this problem, 
We inserted a negative sign in this. Now let's insert a negative in both fractions and let's see its impact. So we're still dealing with 9 twelfths. We're still dealing with 4 twelfths. We're still subtracting. We will insert the negative signs. And now, according to our integer rules, we add the opposite. This will become a negative 5 twelfths. I would like you to do one practice problem on your own. And that practice problem would be 4 fifths minus 2 thirds. The answer to that is what? If we make this negative 4 fifths minus 2 thirds, the answer is, if we make this negative 4 fifths minus a negative 2 thirds, the answer is, And if we make this 4 fifths minus a negative 2 thirds, the answer is 